That was insane. That took me literally 15 minutes to eat. It took three. Oh, right. We were timing it. It took three minutes for me to eat. That's not, not even, any better. Not you should make your chair go higher because I'm always taller than you. You do this to And yourself. it makes me look like a giant. Is this as high as it goes? Are you not? Oh, it's because you don't sit up straight. Hello everyone, welcome back to Foster the Meeple, a channel all about board games and kids table board games. Exactly. We are here today with another top list, a very special top list. These are our top five board games from Kids Table Board Gaming, brought to you by Kids Table Board Gaming, who helps sponsor this video. So thank you to KTBG for sponsoring this video. Video, 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 video. Thank you, thank you, thank you, KTBG. KTBG, for those of you that do not know, number one is a Canadian publisher. Love that. Which we love. Number two, they make family-friendly games. They have quite the line of board games. Now, we haven't tried all of them, but of the ones that we have played, we wanted to rate them for you from one to five, let you know a little bit more about them. And we also have a very exciting uh, giveaway. So stay tuned for that, okay? I'm not gonna say what it is right now. Mm -mm. I don't even know what it is. That's not surprising at all. So I will let you know about it at the end of the video. So we are Did going you hear to- that sass I have to deal with? Yeah, it's fine. We're gonna start at number five, work our way down to number one, but did just wanna mention, I know some of you are probably like, Maple Valley, that's the newest one. We don't have it yet. We did back it ourselves on Kickstarter, so we are just patiently waiting for it to come out, but it looks so cute and I literally cannot wait to try it, but that will not be making an appearance on this list. Correct. Okay. All right, starting with number five, we have Rec Raiders. which is like a deep sea adventure. So basically mm. this is a dice drafting worker placement game where you are diving down into the ocean to collect different treasures and baubles. You go to the beach, you get baubles. You're building an aquarium. That's a word. Baubles. Bubbles. <laughs> so there's a bunch of different things that you do. So basically you're drafting dice and then you're going to place the die in a location on the board that matches that die number. The spots are going to be filling up, so you have to try and like strategically go where you need to go to get what you need to score the most points. You can get locked out. Yes, but the dice will eventually reset, of course, but yes, you could potentially get locked out. Now, there's a bunch of different things that happen in this game. There's gonna be some set collection. Like I mentioned, you're building out an aquarium, you're collecting like different seashells and Bobbles, things like that. But I think- Is that your word of the day? Bobbles is the word of the day. This episode is brought to you by the letter B for Bobbles and KTBG also. So Rec Raiders for me, I really enjoy the theme. I think it's really fun. I have enjoyed playing this one solo. It is very puzzly mm -hmm. and relatively quick to play as well. Super colorful. Who doesn't love the ocean? Am I right? I love the ocean. Jap loves the ocean. I love the ocean. Do you love the ocean? Probably you should. Everybody should love the ocean. I agree. Our number four is shockingly from KTBG. What? How did they sneak on this Canadian list? publisher. And that is Fossilis.
in Fossilis, you are uh, basically playing on a pit. Yes, um, as a paleontologist. And, uh, you are moving around with your meeple, digging these tiles up in order to collect dinosaur bones. To do that, you're going to use these little tweezers that you have, and you're going to go in and you're going to pick out the bones. You're basically trying to build, I don't know what they're called. Dinosaurs. Displays. Right, like exhibits. Exhibits, that's yeah. the word I was looking for. Dinosaur exhibits, by collecting these bones around this grid, you can like push your opponent off and they need to like pop back up onto certain things. You can like block their movement off mm -hmm. because there's like different layers of earth that you're going to be digging through and you need to do like manipulate your, your way around this board in order to like uncover these pits and maybe that pit doesn't even have what you need. So you need to like move to a different pit and like people are falling into the pits or you're moving, you're falling off of the excavation site. Yeah. It's honestly, uh, so fun, super fun. <laughs> and like, I've not played anything quite like it. No, um, I'm trying to think like the in only terms of thing, like the, uh, the tweezer part, like, like the, operation would be the only, thing. what's the word I'm looking for? Like tactile. Yeah. Like, there's a lot of tactile play in this game mm -hmm. and, um, it can be pretty mean. Yes, because what you're you're literally pushing people off of the edge of the pit. Like mm -hmm. Jeff and I have spent our games playing this, just sometimes not focused on doing what we should be doing, which is getting dinosaur bones, but being like, how can how can I not? I want to make it so off? Jamie can't move. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, oh, she's stuck on an island. Yeah, sucker. But it really is a very like tactile type of game mm -hmm. that you. I feel like obviously kids are going to enjoy all of these games, but number one, it's dinosaurs. Yeah. Who doesn't love dinosaurs? And number two, it's just very hands-on. It is, yeah. Um, and so I think it's really fun. Yeah, and I we should mention you're like collecting portions of an entire skeleton. Yes. Basically, is what you're pulling out of these pits. Perhaps so it might you be find like, a femur. Yeah, a femur or like a hip bone or like skull. a skull. Yeah. Skulls are the coolest. Exactly. On to our number three, and that is going to be power plants. Power Plants is a great game for puzzlers. It also has a little bit of a haunted vibe. It does. Look at that. Haunted, for sure. And look at this. It probably is one of the most colorful games. Excellent in their line. playing for October and also for the spring. Why not? Now, in Power Plants, you are building out kind of like a I don't know if field is the right word, but it's kind of a field of tiles of different types of plants. Mm -hmm. Each of those plants has kind of asymmetrical things that they do. Yeah. And what you're trying to do is you're trying to do area control by putting out your little sprites onto the different tiles of the grid. So there's basically two things that you can do this game. You can sprout or you can grow. Mm -hmm. And all you're doing, once again, is trying to control the most areas so that you score the most points. It's a great game for people who enjoy puzzling. It's a great game um, maybe to play with your kids if you're starting to get them to like learn asymmetrical. Now, of course, you don't have to play with the asymmetrical abilities, mm -hmm. but you can help them to learn how to do those things. It's super colorful. It's a little bit brain burny yeah. and it's very, very fun. All of these games are fun. I think this is a, maybe a little bit step up from the other two we've mentioned mm -hmm. so far in terms of like a little bit more complexity. And this one also plays solo. So if you're looking for kind of a solo experience, it's a fantastic one to try mm -hmm. and very, very BEA beautiful. From KTBG. Oh, yes, it's from KTBG. Mm -hmm. We forgot to mention that. Yep. Number two on the list, I think, is more like a 1B, 1A situation for me. Yeah, it's, I don't know if it was, you agree, but it's tough. I really, really, this was really like this. Probably one. the hardest decision. But our number two is diced veggies.
so much fun. Uh, and this is from KTBG. Mm -hmm. Diced veggies is a pretty simplistic ingredient builder. Recipe, yeah. Recipe builder. That's better. Recipe, Recipe builder. builder. Where you have a grid of dice in the middle. So they all have different beautiful colors, mm -hmm. beautiful color dice. And those different colored dice represent different ingredients that you're going to be using for your recipes. Like orange dice are carrots. carrots. Uh, mushrooms are like a brown color. Beige. Uh, Onions are pink. Peppers onions are, are pink, peppers, peppers are, are green, green, tomatoes are red. Yes. Um, and so you're going to have this big cardboard cleaver and you're going to, there's some rules to this, but you're going to basically cutting into this dice grid and pulling those ingredients off. And again, there's some rules on how you're allowed to do that. Pulling those ingredients into your pool. You are also going to be having recipe cards that you're going to be drafting. And those recipe cards are all worth varying degrees of points. Mm -hmm. But you also can basically boost those recipes by uh, maybe spending a little bit more ingredient to mm -hmm. make it like dad's favorite stew. Yeah. So you're still making stew, but you're adding the dad's favorite to it because it has onion in it. Yes. Um, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Which will that's, help you score extra points. That's basically the game. It's very simplistic for some crazy reason. It's so Very much. addictive. <laughs> yeah. Um, if you like a more relaxed version of something like uh, overcooked, mm -hmm. um, which is like a video game. I think there's a board game. Anyway, it doesn't matter. If you like like a little like that theme of mm -hmm. build, just kind of casually building out some uh, recipes and stuff, this is one to check out. This has been my favorite like game about, one of my favorite games about food mm -hmm. for sure. And the artwork on the recipe cards is so beautiful. Yep. And literally you'll be sitting there playing and going mm -hmm. like- I want to eat that. Oh, well, I'm going to take this recipe card because lasagna is my favorite food yep. and I don't even have the ingredients for it, but I'm going to mm -hmm. do it anyway. And it's super fun. And yeah, it is kind of like a chill game. And yet there is some interaction in it because you are taking the dice that you need and you could be taking them away from other people, but it's not an inherently like mean game. You just do that because you also need ingredients yeah. to do your recipes. But you can, you can look around. Like I could see like it's all open information. So there is some mean elements to this where the recipes are open information. So I could see Jamie is trying to cook lasagna and maybe she needs like three tomatoes and only has two. Yeah. And I can cut off a piece that's going to take the tomato from her. That'd be very mean. Um, Shouldn't do you that. can do little things like that if you so choose to play that way. That's how we play. And look how little. Yeah. Nice little box. Love it. There is something therapeutic about taking that cardboard meat cleaver and cutting off a few dice from that block. Yeah. I don't know why. It just is very it satisfying. It just is very satisfying. Yeah. To our number one, which should come as no surprise if you've been watching the channel for a while. Mm-hmm. Creature Comfort. Look how cute. This is from KTBG. That freaking cover is. Just FYI. This one's also uh, KTBG. KTBG. Yes, yeah. correct. Exactly. Look. Yes. Look how cute this game is. This game, honestly, I think this is the first game that we ever played from KTBG. It is and actually, yeah. It just kind of put us on the path of now wanting to play and try all of their games mm -hmm. because KTBG specifically makes family friendly games. And so oftentimes as, you know, a more experienced gamer, you might not 
gravitate towards those. However, I do gravitate towards anything that's cute. So my expectations playing this game were this is gonna be a nice little family game. You know, we'll probably enjoy it. But we ended up freaking loving this game. It is Dice Worker Placement, which is a mechanic that I freaking adore. It's so, so cute. And basically you have different animals that are coming to tour in like this town as well. And so each of those has like an asymmetric thing that it does each round. You are trying to build up your creature comforts. So maybe you're, maybe you are building recipes. Maybe you're doing like sweater stuff because that's comfortable. Maybe you're going up a, a ladder or going on a train or doing a bunch of different things, but it is adorable. It's fun and it's way more like meatier than mm -hmm. I expected it to be. And oftentimes with KTBG games as well, they give you a few different modes of play so that you can play it really simply with maybe a younger crowd or if you'd like to spice it up a little you play with the full rules this this one ha is like the most gamery game yeah i would agree there's like a bunch of combo -y stuff the theme is like jamie mentioned it's very cute you're basically trying to get ready for winter like building sweaters make sure people are fed this one this one's definitely the most uh complex in my opinion mm -hmm. and the cutest and the coziest like this is to me like i mean just look at it it's like the perfect fall game mm -hmm. right you love to see it. So that is our number one KTBG Oh, it's game. from KTBG? Yes. Oh, nice. In case we didn't mention it. So one of the reasons why we wanted to do this video now is because I don't know if you knew, but the holiday season is coming up. We're still in October. Don't get that twisted. Mm -hmm. But what comes after October? Holiday boo. Okay. And so... We don't spend a ton of time talking about kids games. No. On this channel because we don't have kids. So we thought this would be a really good opportunity be like hey if you are looking to get your kids into games honestly these are great options for you as we mentioned so if you're looking for a game for children six and up diced veggies is a great option eight plus we have creature comforts power plants fossilis so if you have kids from eight and up you can try any of these games last but not least kids 10 and up can try rec raiders so definitely lots of options for all the kids in your life, including the grown-up kids in your life, like us. Well, kid in your heart. We got kids in the heart, just like Peter Pan never grow up. Mm -hmm. That's what I always say. We have a giveaway because KTBG has a new game coming to Kickstarter, and it's actually a re-implementation of an older game. Mm -hmm. It's called Wasabi. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. This looks real cute. Okay. First of all, let's talk a little bit about Wasabi. We haven't played it yet, but of course we are very excited to try it. Mm -hmm. The Kickstarter is launching on October 24th for anybody that's interested. Um, but this is a new version of, like I mentioned, the older game, same designers, and it's coming with some streamlined rules, some additional content, and they've also worked with a cultural food consultant while making this kind of re-implementation, which fancy, is great. Fancy. Yes, great, great, great. So you're wondering, it's like, oh, that's great information. I love everything about that. You should. Because what we're doing is KTBG is going to be giving to you a full pledge giveaway. So if you want to enter the giveaway, you need to do a couple of things. Number one, you need to be subscribed to our channel. Correct. Number two, you need to leave a comment. Mm -hmm. What is your favorite kind of sushi? That's a great question. What right? if they don't like sushi? Then tell me something else. Okay, <laughs> here's the thing. Yeah. Your favorite type of sushi. Yes. And if you don't like sushi, your favorite KTBG game. Yes, that could also... Or if you want, do both. Or both. Why not? So as an example, my favorite sushi is a vegetable dragon roll. It's what I get every single time I go. Mine's crab mayo. Really? Oh, Jeff hasn't had sushi in a long time. Do too. Unfortunate circumstances. I know, unfortunate. <laughs> You know, unfortunate circumstance. But I love sushi. I literally just had it a couple days ago. So that is what you need to do. And then whoever the winner is, we are going to give all of their details over to KTBG and they will make sure that your name and your address and everything gets secured so that you can receive a full pledge when the Kickstarter fulfills. Beauty. Wouldn't that be Thank you fun? to KTBG for doing that because I didn't know that was happening. That's Thank really you. freaking cool. Thank you to KTBG. Mm-hmm.
who also published all of these games. Correct. Yeah. If we have not mentioned them. I don't think we mentioned it, so I just wanted to make sure that we mentioned it. Okay. So also, yeah, down below, let us know what is your favorite KTBG game. We'd love to know. We are still, we haven't played Food Fighters. We haven't played Haunt the House, which I really do want to play because, you know, I love a good haunted game. Mm -hmm. I do, I do, I do. But that is everything that we have for you all today. Now, if you're interested in buying board games like any of the games from KTBG, you should first start by checking your friendly local gaming store. For us, that is... The Boardroom Game Cafe. We have seen many of these games at the Boardroom Game Cafe. Correct. That is correct. Do you like snacks? I do. Perfect. Where do you get snacks? Munch Pack. Mm -hmm. That's where we got those candies with all the stuff in them. They were delicious. It took me three minutes to chew it, but it was very good. You want a three-minute candy, go to Munch Pack. Munch Pack. If you like what you see... Please subscribe. We hope to see you again soon, and now we say goodbye. Goodbye! There it is. They were from, they're from the Munch Pack. No, I know they're from, no. I know they're from Munch Pack. Oh, you knew they were from Munch Pack. I don't know what they are. Zazuz. Can I have one? No. Please. Are they weird? Do you want to know it's uh, kind of creepy? Look in the, look behind you. In the no. That is creepy. It tastes like soap. No, no, no. Keep going. Trust me. Trust me. It's not getting better. It will. It's just getting like harder. Sitting here making mouth sounds. Where did the things are popping out of it? <laughs> That's just weird. I like it. It did taste like snow, soap initially, though. I was like, oh, but it went away after a while. I like it was it. like little jelly balls popping out of the candy. Mm -hmm. And they just keep coming. Added some Halloween decor. I can't, like, this candy will never end. It does end, because mine's gone. But I have a hole in my teeth, so it just keeps sliding through, and it's like, whoop. Took the monitor down again. I needed it. When I do a playthrough, I need two monitors. That's fine, but you never put it back. <laughs> Ever. So, KTPG has... Ooh, my voice cracked. Went very high. Thing to... Right.